Across the African continent, many countries are turning to entrepreneurs to support future growth. In Kenya, small and medium-sized enterprises or SMEs play a key role in economic development and job creation. One of the biggest challenges entrepreneurs encounter on a daily basis is skills shortages. But with the right education and training, entrepreneurs can be nurtured to reach the full potential. Whoever possesses information and knowledge within the SME space controls the market. And how we've uh, managed to help our customers on access info of information is a partnership that we developed with the Strathmore University on the 15th of May 2017. Because our customers are now able to go to class, learn the new ways of doing business, they're able to interact with other entrepreneurs in diverse fields, and that way it creates a bit of uh, more information within, uh, within our borders, in the region, and also within the globe. What we are looking at here is the place for the entrepreneurs to exercise the interventions that we have put in place, uh, which includes the training, capacity building, networking, both local and international, which includes local trips and international trips. It also includes engagement with other partners that are interested in the development of entrepreneurs. As a university, there is one advantage we have. We are a research institution. So one sure way of us getting to know what's going on is by researching. That way we get to know what's happening in the market and perhaps what is useful going forward. Since the Strathmore Enterprise Development Center, or SEDEC, began training entrepreneurs in 2012, together with the support of its partners, SEDEC has trained over 10,000 entrepreneurs each year and the impact is already being felt. I can proudly say that SEDEC has transformed the lives of the entrepreneurs. Most of them did not have systems and structures. Some of them right now have already opened other branches. Most of them now have been able to grow their annual sales turnover because of using the methods that we teach them in class. Five years ago, Sam Duarte teamed up with two friends who shared his passion to start Ocean Cross Outers. Today, the car dealer employs 18 young staff members and moves about 30 units of luxury vehicles every month. I'm very passionate about uh, this business. I've been in the vehicle industry for long. Before I came to start my own showroom, I was employed as a salesperson and I had this passion that I want to own a showroom. I used to love Mercedes-Benz when I was young. So I knew that uh, that is the way to go. When you sell a couple of Mercedes-Benz, you're always smiling. We sat down, the three of us, and we said, we don't just want to operate like other showrooms. Transparency, straightforwardness in business is very important. And moreover, in car business, that is where the trust will come from. When we joined SEDEC, we had so many things that uh, we were not doing in the right way. But when we started uh, the classes in SEDEC, we have seen a lot of growth in our industry. Most of the things that we are not doing in the right way, we have been able to do them, and we followed all the modules. And I can tell you, it is a turnover. It is a turnaround in our business, and we are very happy about that program. Running a professional cleaning business can be extremely tough in a saturated market. Like any business venture, it calls for passion, persistence, and a smart strategy to thrive. So how has Caroline Guinness successfully run Miss Clean since 2008? I am a clean freak. I love cleanliness. So doing cleaning is a passion for me beyond just a business. Miss Clean started really very small. We started with domestic cleaning, but with time we grew to get into offices and we grew to get into big companies. As we speak to now today, we are working for the government. We work for big corporates. We work for NGOs. And our target market is diverse from both domestic to commercial. Enterprise development program came in handy so much because when 
when I went to the school, I had challenges and especially about staffing and about structures in my business. And right now, as we speak, I'm a one excited person. I'm actually planning a one month travel and I'm so happy because I know my business will run without me being present. So I've been able to work on my structures as a company and not be self-employed, but be a business person and an entrepreneur who is employed and has structures. Started as an initiative of Strathmore University, the Strathmore Enterprise Development Center is consistent with the university's mission to become a leading outcome-driven entrepreneurial university in the region. Today, SEDEC provides solutions to practical real-life challenges that SMEs face through key areas that include capacity building in business management, where for 16 weeks, entrepreneurs engage in only one day of class meant to fit their busy work schedule. In addition, SEDEC also puts together networking events and forums like the annual SME conference and international business trips. The center continues to also provide consultancy services and act as a vital knowledge hub. One of the unique things about our entrepreneurship program is that uh, it's hands-on, it is very practical. We use case methodology, practical examples and experiences. We share with them industry examples which they can use when they go back to their businesses. At Easter Solutions, James Kabundu is realizing the benefit of implementing practical business solutions to his fast-growing IT firm. I'm a techie by profession, so coming from techie and trying to be the director running the business is not very easy. So we're very good at deploying systems, but the back-end management has been quite a challenge. Managing cash flow and marketing to me has been a very big challenge. Now what that has done, SEDEC has done for me is I'm now able to look at a balance sheet, I'm able to look, look at my cash flow projections, I know how much cash to hold vis-a-vis -vis assets. And before that, we were just guessing out of it. But now SEDEC has helped us with that. SEDEC has also helped me put a marketing team in place and know what to look for, yeah? Has taught me that businesses are all about processing. Some of the clients we've dealt with are blue chip clients in Kenya and we're able to deliver services just like any other company across the globe. So for us, being able to support a client who has more than 5,000 users, being able to deliver mission-critical data centers, being able to give our clients uptime where if you're a financial institution, your systems are, have 99.9% .9 uptime, I think for us that's a big milestone. I am always very excited when people tell me, I wish I had done this course before I made my mistakes. But the beautiful thing is that I will not make those mistakes again. That's the impact I'm looking for. But besides that, some of the beautiful things happening is once you learn, you do things differently. So you will see as a result of that, there is expansion. The, a number of them have had their revenues increase, double or even triple. Some of them have managed to employ more workers, which means we increase employment in the country. The Enterprise Development Program is a program that I would advise to anyone. If you're planning to get into business or you're already in a business and running an existing business, it doesn't matter what level. The details that these people take you through, this is a program where you are taught on the basic of running your business from staffing to understanding contracts that you need to run and how to draft them how to even encourage yourself and understand how to get consultants to help you run your business it helps you not run a one-month show but understand how to manage teams and to grow your business for success it is my wish that going forward that Kenya becomes a producing country converting our materials into output converting other people's materials into outputs that we can sell locally and internationally. Only then shall we really achieve the objective of being a developed country. With the commitment of the team we have around, with the partners that we have put together, support of the university, the commitment of the entrepreneurs and the realization that it is possible together, but above all, the creation of sufficient government policy that are dedicated to this development will be put together. I am happy that all the partners I've mentioned are all keen towards achievement of this development.